In this video, we'll discuss an important technique called least square. This technique optimizes our simple linear regression model and obtain the best fit line for the data points. So it is crucial tool in data analysis and helps accurately predict future outcome based on the given data. So let us summarize what we have learned in the previous video. So we discussed the basic theory and intuition behind a simple linear regression. Our goal was to establish a relationship between the two variables and independent variable x and the dependent variable y. We aim to obtain the equation that best fits our data point by finding the optimal coefficient or best model. So let us delve into the concept of least square. So imagine we have the same set of data points from the ice cream cart with temperature on x axis and revenue on y axis. Least square is a method to determine the best fit curve or line for the given set of points. It aims to minimize the sum of the square distance between the points and the fitted line. So essentially it is a technique to find a line that best represents the overall trend of the data. When it comes to analyzing the data, finding the best line to fit through the set of data points is very crucial. But how do we determine which line is the best fit? Well, it all starts with creating a random line and then calculating the difference between each data point and the true points. This is where the fun begins. We get to see how accurately the line represents the data point and tweak it until it is just right. It is like finding the perfect puzzle piece to complete the picture. But the question is how to find the best fit line. So as you can see, big green dots we refer to as Y actual. These values represent the ground truth or the true data points, or you can say the real data points. We have personally collected these data points by measuring the temperature and calculating the corresponding dollar values. Therefore, point 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 that you see over here are the actual points we measured in the field. In this graph, the red line represents the prediction, while the blue dots indicate the estimated points or the predicted points. We denote the estimated as y hat, which means it is a guess or a prediction. To evaluate the model's performance, we calculate the error or the residual, which is the difference between the actual point that is yi and the predicted point that is y hat i. We refer to this difference as the offset or the error distance and denote it as d. To obtain the absolute value of the residual, we take the absolute difference between the actual and the predicted points. So technically, the sign won't make much a difference. Therefore, I now have y hat i minus y i, y i denote the index of the data point. So that is the first step. Afterwards, I will calculate the residual of each points. This means we will determine the difference between the actual value and the predicted value for the first point, then the second point, third point and so on. To explain the process, I started by selecting a random red line. I then calculated the error by taking the difference between the predicted value of the red line and the actual value and then squaring it. This is known as sum of the squares. The reason for squaring the error is to remove the negative sign and magnify the error. Next, I sum up all the squared errors for every point. Finally, I obtain the minimum value for all the sums of that red line. I then change the position of the red line and repeat the process again. And finally, after doing all the calculations, considering the position of the red line, we will finally take the minimum value of all the outcomes and consider that as the best fit line. So this is what the least sum of square technique does. I know what you guys are thinking. How is it possible to do this manually? Well, this process is not done manually. Machine learning algorithms take care of this automatically. So in my upcoming video, I will demonstrate this with a simple linear regression example using one of the most famous machine learning library called scikit-learn. So we'll use a single command to perform all the necessary operation. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.